covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. An anonymous hacker leaked around two terabytes worth of source code related to the Nintendo Wii, GameCube, and Nintendo 64 designs. This cache includes Verilog code for the hardware, essentially the coded blueprints for the various chips. While a neat peek into the inner workings of Nintendo and a rare look at the low-level design of the specialized chips that go into consoles, don't expect too much to come out of this. While in theory the Verilog code could be used to turn clo chips into Nintendo chip knockoffs, the equipment and expertise needed to do that would be very expensive and not the sort of thing a hobbyist could do. And any commercial efforts would no doubt be torn to shreds by Nintendo lawyers. The leak also, apparently, won't be of any use to the developers of emulators who can only legally do what they do by reverse engineering. The developers of the Dolphin emulator say in response to the leak, We cannot use anything of any sort from a leak. In fact, we can't even look at it. Dolphin is only legal because we are clean room reverse engineering the GameCube and Wii. If we use anything from a leak, Dolphin is no longer legal and Nintendo will shut us down. That's not to say there won't be a fly-by-night emulators uh, which include the leaked code, but we'd advise serious caution when considering uh, using any such tool, as it is very likely to include malware or backdoors for malicious use.